Now, for more than a week, Bangladesh has been gripped by mass protests. They were triggered by the deaths of two schoolchildren, a boy and a girl, who were run over and killed by a speeding bus. It's led to a wave of protests. Tens of thousands of students took to the streets, blocking roads, bringing the capital to a standstill. They've been carrying banners reading Dakar University, many students chanting, we want justice. Protests are rare in Bangladesh, and after days of peaceful demonstrations, it turned violent. You can see in these pictures here, police using tear gas to disperse the protesters over the weekend. And the violence, let's show you today's pictures, going on again today. More than 40 people, mostly students, injured after clashing with police. Now, Amnesty International called for a stop to the government's violent crackdown on overwhelmingly peaceful student protesters. Here's one of them. We can't accept the government's behavior right now. We're here to express solidarity with school pupils who are demanding road safety. The BBC's Akbar Hussain has more from Dhaka. The government blocked mobile internet services for 24 hours in an aim to prevent protest news spreading through social media. Renowned Bangladeshi photojournalist Shahid Alam was also arrested from his home. His family says that they don't know why he was arrested. But it is widely believed that Mr. Alam was arrested immediately after an interview with the Al Jazeera TV station, where he was very critical of the present Bangladeshi government. Meanwhile, police have taken a very high-handed approach to tame down the protesters. They say they won't allow any protester on the street. On the other hand, protesters vowed not to return home unless their demand for improved road safety is met. Akbar Hussain in the Bangladeshi capital.